<clears throat> Hello, Taurus. This is your May 2021. So, Taurus, let's see what they're talking about for you. During the month of May, it's like you're going to be saying, let me see what I can do. Let me see what I cannot tolerate anymore. And let me see what I need to tolerate. So, for a lot of you during the month of May, Taurus, it's going to be about family relatives, people that are for you, people that are not against you. For a lot of you, you're longing for not only communication, relationships, friendships, you're longing for this long, I'm going to say this long path that is going to take you on an amazing adventure. Love is only around the corner for a majority of you. Even those of you who are single right now, who don't even see a lover in sight, let me just tell you unexpectedly, in the month of May for Taurus, things are going to brighten up. For a lot of you, holding on to something that you've just seen that it's not working in your favor, it's just not. It hasn't worked in your favor. It, it's, it's almost like you're getting the message now. You're getting the news now. Some people just don't want to have peace. Some people just don't want to try to work on something. Some people are not going to try to win you over. Some people just are not going to go that extra mile. For a lot of you, you're just wanting peace. You don't want any problems. You're willing to accept responsibility, however, for your own happiness. For a lot of you, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for, for you to get the approval. Of the person that you need. But in order to do that. You must free yourself first. From the eight of swords. Because right now. You've allowed yourself to become that hermit. To be that stay home person. To not go out. To be kind of uh, unsociable. To just kind of exist. You you do your work. You go to work. You Maybe you work from home. Whatever. But that's all you do. You may talk on the phone to a few people. Get on your Facebook or Instagram. Or what, whatever. And then call it a day. Some of you are on dating websites trying to meet new people, but really haven't seen anybody that you're interested in. Everybody seems like they're just either lying or making up this story, who they are, or maybe that's not their real picture. For some of you, you may be dealing with somebody from another country who's trying to get you to give them money, who's trying to get you to keep sending money to them because they're coming or they're going to come visit you and they need the money or no, stop doing that. Stop being taken for granted. Stop being used. Stop being... Um, frauded because somebody's definitely committing fraud for you. Be careful. For some of you, you're going to shake off some disrespect that somebody may have gave you. Somebody may may have made you feel as if something wasn't great or working correctly. Somebody may have taken back the love that they offered you at one point in time. Somebody may also have decided to uh, walk away from you. All right. For some of you, somebody made you feel as if you didn't fit in, you didn't belong, or you weren't exactly their type, or you're, or they're not. Um, they're not giving you just all of their time. They're sharing it with somebody else as well, which is why you're not hearing from them as often. Which is why they're not texting you back. Which is why there's no communication going on. For a lot of you, you may have thought that this person was so consumed with themselves. That you didn't even know if they'd have time for you. When they first did come around you, you thought, oh, this is great. And they made you believe that they were just so wonderful and so uh, busy and so needed and so popular and so this and that. Making you feel as if you were the luckiest person in the world to have a relationship with them. But that person decided to end up showing their true colors. See, they kind of stood up and showed you who they were. You started seeing that little by little. You know, for some of you, this person is not going to respect you. But you can shake that off. You can get rid of that. Somebody may have been trying to make you look less important. You know, your assignment in this earth is not to have to deal with all these negative people. See, this person here, they keep staying still. They're not moving. They know you're interested. They know you want to talk. They know you've texted them. They know you're communicating. They know you miss them and you want to see them. They know you have big feelings for them or deep feelings for them. 
But they're like, you know what? I'm just going to take care of my money. I'm just going to hang out here. I'll be in my man cave. I hang around with my friends or whatever. But for some of you, this person, they, they just, they're not ready for a commitment. Your friends have even told you because of the things you've told them about how this person has treated you. They've even told you that, you know, they don't like what he's doing. They don't like what she's doing. They don't like the way they're, you know, not acting on anything. They don't like the fact that they're not talking to you or communicating to you. And when they do, it's only a few word answers. They can't even pick up the phone and talk. Because of that situation, you've become the hermit. You've really become destined to be all by yourself right now. You're choosing not to get involved with other people, not to live your life freely the way you want to. For some of you, things are really mixed up right now. Your emotions are sad. Your work is not exactly what you want it to be. It's You're tired of not being noticed at work and being appreciated for the work you do. For some of you, all you're wanting is this person, the same person, to come back in. To show you they love you. To offer love to you. Every time you get around this person and you start to do things or, or go places, they get so close to being the way you really would love them to be, the way you'd really love them to treat you. They get so close to it. Maybe a, a beautiful song comes on the radio and you're hoping they're going to think of you when that song is playing because that's what you're thinking in the car. And yet, they either turn it off or they change the channel or they mock and make fun of the way the song is sang. Somebody really breaks your heart with that. Every time you're hoping somebody's going to compliment you or say something in a positive way to you, they get so close and then they don't do it. You're looking at things a little bit more carefully. You're looking a little bit more closely. But then they mix you up because then they come towards you and they do something nice. They come around and they take the stress away from you for a minute. Maybe they bring dinner or maybe they help you out financially or maybe they made a car payment or maybe they did something that was really nice for you. So then you're believing, okay, great. Everything's working out. And then suddenly they turn their back again. Now they're off busy again. For some of you, you're dealing with somebody who's married and you don't even know it. For some of you, maybe not married, but they're living with somebody as in marriage, as in if they're married. For some of you, I don't know if it's you or them that's going to have to make a choice or decision. I don't know if it's you or them who's going to have to make a choice or decision. But for a lot of you, unfortunately, there's some lies going on. There's things that you don't know about. There are secrets that are left and right being told and you don't know any of them. There is definitely somebody standing here trying to make a choice or decision with you. Whether to tell you the truth. Whether to just walk away. Whether to ghost you. For some of you, it's one battle after another. It's like pulling teeth trying to get the truth from that person. Every time that person's around you, they make up another story of why they didn't come around or why they couldn't do this or why they couldn't do that. This person feels like you're putting pressure on them to make a choice or decision between you and somebody else. This person also feels that what is being offered to them, they're not sure if they want it. They don't want to give up everything else they have. Right now, this person is enjoying being single and seeing different people. But this person still wants to be nice to you when they feel like it. When they feel like it, they want to bring you something or send you flowers or do something for you. This has all gotten so overwhelming for you. You're trying to take time out to meditate. And every time you think this person isn't around... This person is a little bit controlling because they are around. They're hanging around. They're watching you from a distance. They're watching to see even though they're out the ones running because of the things they're doing, they think you're doing them. See, the person who's always doing the cheating and the lying is always worried that the other person is doing that to them. And that's because they're doing it. So right now, this person that you think is gone or disappeared, they're watching you. They're watching you. And meanwhile... They know that you're carrying a lot of burdens. They know that you're stressing out and overwhelmed with the bullshit they're putting on your plate for you to have to deal with. 
They already can't believe the strength that you've shown, that you're still able to hang in there. Even though they've created tower moments for you, even though they made things be very uncomfortable for you, even though you found out things that were not really good, things that may have been hurtful. For some of you, you've been made a fool of. Because you thought they just wanted to spend the time with you. They never really wanted to take you out. They always wanted to be home with you. Always let me just come over. They always come over late at night. They always come over between 10 and 12. They always come over and they stay the night, but they leave early in the morning. They never want to go anywhere. Yeah, they'll buy a pizza. Yeah, they'll buy some cheesesteaks, whatever. But at the end of the day, they're not taking you out. They're not bringing you out in public. And there were a few times that you were out with this person. You may have drove. They didn't want to take their car to be seen. So they let you drive. They sit way back in the seat. They tilt that seat back. Or they got the hood up. Or they got the hat on. They don't want to be noticed. And the minute you try to pull into some place public where other people can see them in a familiar area, oh no, they don't want to go. They will jump out of that car if you pull into something that is very public where they'll be seen or known. So be careful of that. But somebody is watching you. I'm telling you right now, somebody's watching you. They feel that you're vulnerable. They feel that you're unprotected. They feel that they're, they're able to have their secret place and watch you from it. For some of you, it could be raining right now as you're watching this video. It could be a rainy time in your life. For some of you, an umbrella for the rain that you're dealing with is not going to be enough. You're going to need a tarp because there's a lot of challenges here. For some of you, there's somebody around you is very strong and they're trying to let you lean on. Oh my gosh. They're trying to let you lean on them. They're trying to be there for you. Somebody's trying to encourage you to do better, to move on, to let this person go. You still haven't been able to make the right choice or decision with that yet. Nope. Every time I put it there, it falls in. Come on. So you still haven't been able to make the right choice or decision. For some of you, you're basing things on past situations, past heartbreak. You're comparing it to a past relationship. For some of you, you have the ability to look at this from above. You can look down at this. See everything from this view. See the truth in the matter. For some of you, your partner may have already said they made a choice or decision and it was to stay with you to be with you, but at the same time, this person is creating an issue, a problem. This person may be dealing with temptation. This person may be dealing with addiction. This person may be dealing with pornography. This person may be dealing with a sex addiction. This person may be the person who is in love with you, but needs to sleep with other people because their ego needs that attention. For some of you, you're just not wanting to see the truth. Nope, see, you're not wanting to see the truth. You're not wanting to know what's really going on. For a lot of you, the truth is what will set you free here. The truth is the only thing that's going to set you free in this situation. During the month of May, you are going to get together with a group of people and they are going to help you to see the truth. There is going to be a close friend of yours that is going to take you out. You're going to spend some happy times with this person. You're going to be able to tell them everything that's going on. They're going to be very supportive and encouraging to you. You may even decide to look at this person in a different way and say, you know, maybe we can be more than friends. Maybe you had blinders on and didn't see that this person that's now come toward you, who you've known for such a long time, who you've always looked at as a friend, is now being shown to you in a different light. You may be able to take the risk now. You may be wanting to take that risk. Because I definitely see you're very devastated over what's happened. But at the same time, you're loving the attention that this person's giving you. This person is making you feel as gorgeous as you always did. This person wants to give you the opportunity to give you the happiness and the joy that you deserve. This person is going to be similar to the magici magician in your life. They are going to create things that you never thought could be created. And you yourself 
are going to be able to cast the powers out that you deserve. You're going to be able to put the energy out to the universe that you're wanting to get back. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, let me move all these cards out because at the end of the day, none of that's going to matter because you will choose love. At the end of the day, you're going to forget what wasn't serving you. You're going to let go of things that hurt you. You're going to move forward with that person whom you always looked at as a friend. That person who always gave you comfort, supported you, encouraged you, spent time with you, listened to you. And it was painful for them to hear all the different things that was happening to you. They didn't want to disappoint you. They didn't want to tell you at the time that they really had strong feelings and felt love for you. They wanted to be a best friend to you and support you. But now you're going to see this person in a whole different way. I can't wait for your May to begin.